Yo, what is going on guys? It's Chaos here and welcome back to the channel. Alright, now I know it's been a minute since I last uploaded. It's been like well over a month, I'm pretty sure. But I have been streaming in between these videos, okay? We've been playing the Advanced Trilogy. I'm on Advanced 3 right now. Once I do that, we're going to move on to Sonic Rush, Colors DS. And I'm even thinking about taking a look at Sonic Boom, Fire, and Ice because I forgot how much of a banger that game actually is. Alright? So, if you're interested in seeing that, make sure you subscribe to the channel because I will be streaming a bit more now that school is basically over with. I got one more final to do, but I, ain't got, I got no problem with acing that, bro. I got no problem with acing that. To be honest, the cheating has never been easier. <laughs> okay, the cheating has never been easier. But anyway, speaking of 2D titles, what we have here today is some news on Sonic 5, the rumored modern 2D Sonic game. All right, if we take a look here, it's by SLM Broadcasting. It says here, summary on the rumored 2D Modern Sonic game, AKA Sonic 5, the most credible rumor that is in development. Okay, that kind of doesn't make sense. But anyway, if you take a look at the picture here, Sonic 5, the, fatal, the fabled 2D Modern Sonic game, Zippo and Soa City posted leaks regarding a 2D Modern Sonic game. Information was spread around the Sonic Tuber circles. Everyone made videos on it. Same people who leaked Colors Ultimate in the past or this was leaked by the same people who leaked Colors Ultimate in the past. It's developed by Sonic Team using the Retro Engine. I'm pretty sure that's a new detail. I don't know if we ever heard about that before, but it's using the Retro Engine, which really makes you think, how will this play? Because if it's using the Retro Engine, and it kind of makes you think like it'll play like Mania, right? Or even um, Sonic Origins. But anyway, features mo the modern cast, most likely including Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles, most likely default characters. So a city's article stated it was shelved around February 2021 before being picked back up for a 2023 release announcement most likely happening soon. All right. So there you have it. That's the news. We've been hearing about this rumor 2D game for the longest of times. OK, like I said, Zippo initially or I think I first heard it from Zippo initially. And then so a city came out with it saying it was shelved. I remember making a video on that a while back, like well over a year ago, and it's just been up in the air since then. There's been a couple times in between that last that last video I made and now with people coming out or leak more leaks coming out, but they all usually just say the same thing that we're seeing now. The only thing that's really new, like I said, is the retro engine. I'm pretty sure that's the newest detail out of everything with this leak. And with it being on the retro engine, like I said before, it kind of makes you think how is this game gonna play because with the retro engine being the way it is you know we've played mania we've played origins we kind of, we have a feel for it all right it we have a feel for it i don't know if they can use the engine but you know make a modern game make it feel like a modern game like will it feel like the advanced series where it's more based on like you know momentum and getting that top speed or will it be more like the rush series where you have a boost one thing's for sure though with sonic team being sonic team okay they have basically or should have basically mastered the art of 2d okay now this isn't being developed by dimps don't forget this is being developed by sonic team so the 2d should be fire that's all i'm saying the 2d should be fire. like this cannot be a flop they cannot make a new original 2d modern sonic game and have it be a flop they cannot do that but moving on from that, we kind of got some somewhat old news regarding the third update for Frontiers, okay? If we look here um, at Soa City, Ian Flynn confirmed to return for the Frontier Story DLC. It says here, it's been confirmed by Ian Flynn that he will return to writ to writh to writh to write the story for the upcoming Sonic Frontiers DLC featuring multiple playable characters. Kishimoto revealed that Flynn will be re returning in a tweet followed by further confirmation from Flynn himself. It appears Flynn is part of the core writing team for the series moving forward. It says here, this is Kishimoto by the way, of course Ian Flynn will write it. Although Sonic Frontier has a huge amount of settings, there are many episodes that could not be told. Now that we have decided which episode to go with, I'm sure we'll be able to meet everyone's expectations. The upcoming Sonic Frontiers DLC will feature Tails, Knuckles, along with Amy as playable characters. Character variables were recently discovered in the files from the first update, although no further information has been discovered from the files. The update is planned to release later this year. All right, so if I take a look at this actually, character variables, what is this? 
Oh, it's just player common files. Okay, so that most likely means that they got, you know, like the models with animations and movesets basically ready. I think. I could be wrong. I don't know jack shit about development, but I think that's what that means. I mean, yeah, man. Like, no surprise there. Ian Flynn has been cooking for this game, so I expect the banger, to say the least. I expect the banger with this update. I really hope they don't butcher the playable characters. I don't hope there's really not just like just movement with a different story. I hope I hope the actual characters themselves have their own unique move set. All right, shoot. They could, like, that's the thing. They could even have their own skill tree. We don't know what the scope of this update is. Like, we know we're getting a new story. We know we're going to have playable characters. But how, like, how big is this going to be in scope? That's really the question that I'm asking. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. And if you're new, consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know what you guys think about this new 2D Modern Sonic title. Will it top the Rush series? Will it top the Advanced Trilogy? Let me know what you guys think down below. But until next time, peace.